Hello and welcome everyone, Michael here from Atavism team. Today in quick tutorial I'll show you how to prepare Unity project to work well with the Atavism. It is quite simply and contagious few steps. To, to do this we'll use uh, two main components, obviously Unity and the second one is obvious also it's Atavism. In both cases it will be version 2018.2.0. So we'll start and we'll just create new project. It is like you can see here Unity 2018.2. We'll call this Atavis Unity. Package that we're using it is the demo version so it's around four and a half gigabyte in size when you're downloading this from a panel it contains a lot of assets from from uh, atavism team and also from our partners okay so we have our brand new uh, project First of all, we'll go to Window, Packet Manager, and we'll remove TextMesh Pro as Atav is coming with the TextMesh Pro. Okay, next step is we'll go to Edit, Project Settings, Player. Here we'll change the color. And also we'll just enable these dynamic batches, batching and also graphic jobs. And next one we'll also select this one. Okay, the next part is this version of uh, Unity arriving also with preoccupied uh, layer 8 so control will cut in and paste to layer 9 as layer 8 it's used in this uh, demo sen for this target table layer okay so we have these two items now we could start and just import a Atavism assets. In our case, it will be the custom package. I already download my one just to save time. It's on my desktop. Like you can see, it's around 4.4 gigabyte. The import itself, it's a, it is a big uh, package, so it will take significant uh, amount of time. Usually around 20 minutes to initial to do the initial import after that it's running smooth part of this video will be fast forward as obviously there is no need to watch how i importing the package okay so we have all these uh, packages here all the assets <coughs> After I press import, the system will just prepare everything and in one of the next step will be we'll just need to update the API. Again, part of this video will be fast forward. Okay, so like you can see here, we need now to just be sure that we have backup if we have a or if we just updating our existing project as it is a brand new project I don't have backups but just starting importing so I'll just press go ahead just to ensure that you have valid uh, backup just in case something go wrong we don't expecting that but it's better to expect when expected Okay, so we are 
close to finish of importing this uh, quite big package. Next step we'll put on a stance to our build. Just waiting for the last few seconds. Okay, so like you can see there is plenty of assets. So we'll go to file build settings. Just clear this. By default, well, there is default stance, so we'll just delete it. And here from our assets, we'll select stance. The first one that we need to import is the login one, and all other stance we can just load without in any particular order. And we can just close that. Now we'll just open our login stance, and here you can see there is Atavism car. In Atavism car we need to specify master server. It is either the IP address of your server, it could be virtual uh, machine that we provided, or it could be our VPS server, or you can use a fully qualified domain name. In our case we'll use the second option. Okay, so this part is finished. For version 2017, you can need to just uh, run the and build the asset bundles. And we'll also take a moment. finished we'll go to show in explorer asset bundles we'll need to copy just this files without extension dot manifest we'll go to assets streaming assets and we'll just paste it and replace Okay, so this part is done. We have nearly all done. There is only last item, but I'll say one of the most important. We need to go and connect to database using our Atavism editor. So we'll go to Window, select Atavism Online. And here you can see it is a Atavism editor 2018.2.0. We'll just log in there. The email address, it's the email address that you use to obtain license. Okay, the first screen that we're getting is the database. So we need to specify the address of uh, our database server even if we using the on the login scene we using the full qualified domain name here we can use either the, the same domain name or we can use also a IP address of our server this uh, domain resolved to my public IP address and then there are some NAT rules on the firewall that connect, connect me to my local virtual machine. So I connect now using the local network to this uh, MySQL database. The, by default, if you don't specify some custom part number for your database, you can leave this empty. Then we need to specify the database user uh, it is the user that you either set up on your custom uh, installation of a server or it is a Atavism and the password Atavism for the uh, pre-built virtual machines that uh, Atavism been providing. Like you can see all these information are uh, 
kind of clone copy it. That's happening because this uh, tick box is selected and now connection is successful. So our server, well, we have connection to database. We can modify all our settings or create new ones. Well, that's it. End of this quick uh, tutorial how to prepare a Unity project to work well with the Atavis. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, you can contact with us on our Discord server. You can also uh, post something on our forum. And if you need also some additional help, you can always send us email. We'll be glad to help. Thank you for watching and see you next time.